What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back to another mother freaking diddy, yo. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be <laughs> Let's not go too soon now. <laughs> And a lot of girls hit it mine now. Hey, oh, yeah. 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 I would rather pass that blunt to you. Like we used to do. And today, baby, y'all already know what the fuck going on in this goddamn video. As you can tell by the title of this video, y'all know exactly what we are going to be getting into today, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing a reaction video to Kevin Samuels' video on Aisha Curry needs more than attention, okay? And I believe so. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I got some in and out cheese fries, baby, okay? Shit, I'm living good over here, okay? Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below, share this video with a friend, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M and let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mama today, Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video, y'all. And to let you guys know, it will be another double upload day today. So after this video drops, I will have another one dropping a little bit later, okay? So let's get into it, guys, and see about this whole Aisha Curry situation. If you don't know what is going on, if you have been living under a rock, basically Aisha Curry is upset that, or feeling some type of way because she's not getting attentions from other dudes besides her husband, which I think is fucking crazy. People wanna act like, oh, I feel so bad for her. No, fuck all that, my nigga. That's a personal problem. That's a personal issue. A lot of people out here would love to even have a husband who even cares, you know? But anyway, come on, baby. Condolences to the Currys. Never marry a woman who thinks she's better than you. Never marry a woman who thinks they're better than you? Huh? Huh? Do y'all agree or disagree? Leave me a comment down below. Come on, what the hell? All right, guys. I'm going to get right into this. Get into it, baby. Let's hear it. This one hits home for me because... You've been through it? I've seen it so often. Oh. I've counseled with guys through divorce care. Oh, shit. Through... Christian ministries through breakups through so many things. Oh shit. And I've seen so many guys. Oh shit. That have actually married a woman they absolutely adore. Okay. But the woman thinks she's better than you. <laughs> and ultimately, you got me fucked up. Jealousy. No, my nigga. I feel like neither party should feel better than the other party, okay? I shouldn't feel like I'm better than you, and you shouldn't feel like you're better than me. I just feel, you know, like that shit is kind of crazy. You're supposed to be a team, and you're supposed to feel like both of y'all are, you know what I'm saying, some badass motherfuckers. Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know if you agree or disagree. Avoid women who think they are better than you. I forgot to say no pickles. You can never make them happy. And here's the thing. You can never make them happy. your success continues to rise, their anger, their resentment, the animosity towards you will continue to rise. So outwardly, people look at you and say, oh, she's so lucky to have this man. He's a multi-millionaire, a good family man, all these other things, and all she's sitting there and saying, it should be me. I'm better than him. That's crazy. I've been with somebody especially, like that. This, this really runs deep, especially. I won't say in the respect of being with somebody who thought that they were better than me per se, but they were jealous of me and my success and stuff. So I have been in that position or jealous of the things that I had or the following that I had. I've experienced that. So yeah. In women who are failed actresses and failed models. If you <laughs> meet a woman who is a struggling local actress, struggling local model, attractive, but she just doesn't have that it factor. <laughs> you can date her, you can hang out with her. You just missed the mark. Don't make any kind of commitment to her, and for God's sake, don't marry her or have any children. Because, one, she is always going to have in her mind any kind of weight I put on, anything that happens is going to potentially hurt this non existent mm -hmm. career she's dreaming about, this fame that she wants. I don't even think it's that. I just think it's like an image thing, you know, like not an image thing, a self image thing to where the woman feels like inside herself, she's not good enough, you know, and 
I don't feel sorry for Aisha Curry, my nigga. I don't. Everybody has insecurities. You have to learn to embrace them or you let them eat your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Shit that you cannot change. Motherfucker, like, you just have to deal with it. Why are you acting like this damsel in distress over this situation, bro? I do not feel sorry for you. I don't feel bad for you. We've all been in dark places because of insecurities and shit. And you over here just making it seem like, you know, like the world has stopped because other niggas is not paying you no mind or giving you the attention you feel like you deserve. Come on, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm sorry. This thing that she cannot have, and especially if you're like Seth Curry and you actually attained it. He married his high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. He was a teenage boy and she was a teenage girl. Mm -hmm. That 15 year old boy was ecstatic to have that gorgeous girl because mm -hmm. she actually grew into her womanness before he grew into his manness. He has finally grown into his man's body, into his man's mind, and become the man a lot of people saw in him. She's still looking at him as the same little boy who's <laughs> blowing her kisses and kissing her ass as a teenager. No. This could be true, but it also could not be true too. Nobody knows what Aisha Curry really thinks in her mind. And I'm not trying to discount how she feels, okay? I feel like if you seriously feel bad about yourself or you seriously need attention or validation from other people, then that, like I said, is an internal thing that you must work on, all right? Aisha's no different than anybody else. She's human, you feel me? So I'm not blaming her for the way that she feels. Feel how you feel, baby, but don't broadcast it like, you know what I'm saying? Or if you wanna broadcast it, cool, but you can't be mad at people who disagree with you, your, you know what I'm saying, your ideologies and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not feeling bad for you. And it's a lot of women out here egging it on and shit because they have their own fucking insecurities. That shit is your own problem. You have to deal with that shit yourself. That's like if I have a big, hairy, big ass mole on my face and I can't get rid of it. It's not everybody else's fault. It's not your fault either, but it is your fault whenever you let it control your life to the point to where you're like man you know i'm not gonna be happy and not embrace it because i don't love myself i don't lo love everything about myself you know you gotta love yourself flaws and all and that's when you get true freedom fuck what a nigga gotta say you know the only opinion that matters is your own and aisha i don't feel bad for you once again let's keep it going and that's what you saw come out that's what it is it wasn't that she wants more attention it wasn't that she wants more guys on her dm she married a guy that she thinks she's better than, and honestly, she's jealous of it. She's jealous because I'm sitting at home, pumped out three kids, and he's on TV every day. He's getting all the fame. He's getting all the red carpet treatment. He's getting all this. And only time she gets a t Which could be true, but it could also not be true. All right, there's two sides of this. Maybe she just really has some deep-rooted insecurities that she hasn't learned how to deal with yet, you know? She just gotta love her, she gotta find a way to love herself, you feel me? Attention is attention that he deflects to her. We wouldn't know about Aisha Curry if it wasn't for Steph. He tries to put her in the spotlight, he tries to put her in front and center, and guess what, if she had what it takes, she'd already be there, and that's what's not being told. Did she come out with a book or something? Like a cookbook or something? Or was that something they did together? ASMR. The way I see it is like to me, even from a business standpoint, Aisha Curry can basically dominate where wherever avenue she wants to take because of Steph Curry, you know? And me, that wouldn't be anything I would complain about. I'm just saying, you know. If she had anything that should make her a star or put her on that level, she'd be there. Will Smith That's not true. married Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett Those are two different people. Success, but she was never nowhere close to being what Will was. Look at what Will tried to do with his son. He kept trying to push his son out there, but his son is a Will. Well, guess what? Aisha and Steph. Let me tell you what I fear is going to happen. I fear this is what's going to happen. She's going to end up divorcing him. It's going to get to a point to where it is in Divorcing him? Whoa! She's already made this faux pas. She's already... All right, I respect you, Kevin Sam Samuels, but I just feel like you just never know. And you're comparing apples to oranges here. You're comparing Steph and Aisha Curry to Will and Jada. Like, everybody's different. 
and every woman is not going to do the same thing that every woman that you have experienced has done. You know what I'm saying? Maybe is your belief system that has you attracting those type of clients. I don't know y'all. I just try to think outside of the box, but you know, everybody has an opinion. Ain't nobody right or wrong. Everybody's just sharing. That's what the fucking internet is for. Let's listen to a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and close it out because I want to eat. For real, for real. Put it out there, gets out and eat there, and she's getting drugged by men. And people are actually looking at her like, what the hell's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. So she's going to have to pipe down. She's mm -hmm. not going to be able to say much about anything. But it is going to tear her apart, tear him apart, because it, because at the end of the day, she thinks she's up here, mm -mm. and she thinks he's down here. I don't know about that. Y'all can leave a comment down below and let me know if you believe she it. She does not view Steph Curry as the NBA mm -hmm. all-star world champion basketball player. She views Steph Curry as this guy that her mom and dad, her parents told her, you need to marry and secure the bag. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be there. She would have rather been a struggling actress in Hollywood, trying to get bit parts in commercials, trying to get pickups in, in TV, you know, trying to be an extra here, or trying to get a, a print commercial or something, while ended up uh, dating whoever. Honestly, she'd have been happier that way. I know too many women like this. Trust me, I've seen this in my life. There are Doesn't mean I use you the same way. It could be. Let's be honest, she's not that but fine. you don't know for certain. She's attractive, but she ain't model fine. She's pretty, but she ain't all that. She Being model fine and pretty and all of that shit, the perfect 10 to you might be, you know, the person that you think is so fine, I might think is uh, not so attractive. The person that you might think is not so attractive, I might think is a motherfucking... 10, 11, 12, 20, the highest rating I can give them. So everything is just personal perception and opinion, you know? She can't handle it. She's not built for it, but she thinks she is. She can't even handle the overflow traffic she gets from her husband. What the hell makes her think she can handle it in the spotlight? But the problem is she's too close to the sun. She's close enough to where she actually thinks she could do just fine. And, and the bad thing is she's seen too many women. What's wrong with her doing just fine? What's wrong with her doing fine without a man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Without the success of a man. What's wrong with that? A lot of men love women who are fine without them. You know? Not in all aspects, of course. Because then the, there would be no point of being a in a relationship with somebody like that. But I feel you may have some deep-seated insecurities if you have a problem with a woman getting shit on her own. You know? <laughs> I love me an ambitious woman. We need to be a power couple, a power team. Just how I feel. Kind of do this kind of thing. Look what Kamorley Simmons did. She actually has had a reasonably successful career, but she was a model, a supermodel in somebody's eyes, but a model nonetheless. What has Aisha Curry done? <clears throat> Other than being married to Steph Curry. But that's not going to change anything. This is going to nag at her, nag at them, until she ends up... <clears throat> But now there is another possible I don't know. alternative. Steph could try to work behind the scenes with some Hollywood producer, friend, family, and try to throw some work her way and try to get her in Hollywood. But you know what? It'll even be worse because honestly, when she gets up on the screen and the show that she doesn't have a chop, she really so gonna leave his ass. The factor, then you have to deal with the fallout of that. <laughs> when you marry a woman who thinks she's better than you. When you're with somebody who is ultimately going to be jealous of you, who can't play their role, does not like the spotlight being on you, you're signing up for a life of misery. There's going to be this passive aggressive, low level contempt for you because at the end of the day, you're really not what she wanted. You're not what she wanted to do. She wanted something completely else. And she's living a life as. Hey, ASMR. I feel like. In a relationship, two people are supposed to bring each other up. There may be times where your partner is struggling more than you and vice versa. It's about bringing that person up to your level, encouraging that person to be better and let them know that they have what it takes. Help them out, you know, help them with their insecurities and shit. You feel me? Like, I will say this though, with all of that being said, you can't help a person who don't want to help himself. <laughs> you know? So, you can only do so much. 
I feel like in relationships though, sometimes all you have to give is 70 or 70, that's a lot. <laughs> sometimes all you have to give is 30%. Your partner gotta pick up the other 70, but that's what partnerships are about, you feel me? They pick up where you lack and vice versa. Cause every day is not gonna be the best day for you. And when it's not, instead of just being by yourself at a 30%, you have somebody else to pitch in, you know, at least some. So y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree. With that being said, you know, let's see if he says anything else. 30 more seconds. Is somebody else playing for her? And even though it's probably the best thing for her, she thinks she can do better. So the next time, try to finish. All right, well, y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know if y'all agree or disagree with what he just said there. Like I said, for me, I don't think it's a, I mean, I could be absolutely wrong. He could be right. It could be a matter of her being jealous and wanting the super superstardom and can't handle being the wife of a superstar, you feel me? And maybe she's not feeling like she's enough. However, I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like, you know, after having the babies of a superstar and, you know, being the wife of a superstar, for this long, I feel like maybe she just is feeling insecure about herself. Like niggas used to look at me all the time and give me attention all the time, but now they're not. Maybe she just did this as one publicity stunt to get more attention. You know, y'all have to also realize that any attention is good attention. Any publicity is good publicity, even bad publicity. So everybody's talking about Aisha right now. We gotta be smart too, and we also gotta know that this just could be a ploy to attract more attention to them and it also could be a ploy to divert attention from things that we are supposed to be focusing on in this world okay y'all leave me a comment down below give me your opinion let me know how you guys feel about the aisha curry situation for me i feel like if she really has them insecurities you shouldn't want anybody to feel bad for you bro you should go work on that shit like anybody should you know what i'm saying that's the only way anything is going to change in your life is if you take the required and necessary steps to fucking fix that shit you feel me Leave me a comment down below. If you have not already, make sure you join the Dynasty, baby. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Share this video with a friend. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another day ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the real Diamond M. And let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend, tell a friend today, Angel Mama today, Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out. When you cuss me out, you don't mean that shit. I keep a